you ever felt frustrated when your plans don't work out as you expected? When you have a goal or a dream, but it seems like nothing is happening to make it come true? When you face obstacles, setbacks, or rejection that make you doubt yourself and your abilities? If you have, then you are not alone. Many of us struggle with feeling discouraged or disappointed when we encounter delays in our journey. But what if I told you that delay is not denial? That just because something hasn't happened yet doesn't mean it will never happen. That sometimes the best things in life are worth waiting for. Hello and welcome to Vikmes TV. Hello, I know you have been blessed through our videos. Please subscribe, like and share them with your friends. Delay is not denial. Press on in prayer. Luke chapter 18 verse number 1 Then he spoke a parable to them that men always ought to pray and not lose heart. One key word that summarizes this Bible verse is perseverance. Unfortunately today, majority of us lack this quality. When we encounter setbacks and delays in our efforts, which sometimes leave us feeling confused, we feel God has abandoned us. No, he has not. He has got our back. He has engraved us on the palms of his hands and will never forsake us. Our wars are ever before him, according to Isaiah chapter 49 verse number 16. Sure, there might have been delays in attaining that goal or seeing the fulfillment of God's promise, but that does not equate to denial. It might be we are not ready yet, or the circumstances are not favorable at the moment. It could be a hidden indicator that something better is waiting. Or maybe there is something we need to learn first. Perhaps we need to grow and develop our skills before we can reach our full potentials. And growth is not only about acquiring new skills or knowledge, but also about changing our mindset, attitude, and behavior. We may say, God knows our needs. Why doesn't he just give it to us? Yes, he knows, and will give us at the right time. You must trust that there is a divine plan for your life, and that everything will happen at the right time. Understand that many things, time and again, happen in the spirit and as well as in the physical realms which we do not comprehend and which can lead to delays. First, there is an enemy, the devil who hates us and is against us receiving our answers from God. Daniel chapter 10 verse 12 to 13 says, Do not be afraid, Daniel, since the first day that you set your mind to gain understanding and to humble yourself before your God, your words were heard, and I have come in response to them. But the prince of the Persian kingdom resisted me for 21 days. Did you get that? From the first minute Daniel prayed, he was answered, but the enemy waged war against his prayers to stop him from receiving answers. Does this surprise you? I guess not. The thief comes only to steal and kill and to destroy, but the Son of Man have come that we may have life and have it to the full. John 10.10 10. God always desires the best for us. Amen. Second, there are things that God is working in us while we are persevering in prayer. If every answer always came immediately, would you press in and spend time drawing closer to God and studying His Word? God's plan is for us to grow up spiritually. He wants to enlarge our faith and encourage us to develop a closer relationship with Him. So, don't despair in prayer. Keep on praying in faith as long as you are praying according to God's Word. Besides, a delay, even a very long one, does not mean that God is saying no to your request. One notable example is the story of Joseph in Genesis chapter 37 through to chapter 41. He faced countless delays and obstacles, including being sold into slavery by his brothers and being falsely accused and imprisoned. Yet in the end, all the delays worked together for his good as he rose to become second in command in Egypt and saved countless lives during a severe famine. Another example is the story of Abraham and Sarah. God promised Abraham that he would become the father of many nations. But as years went by, Sarah remained barren. Despite their old age, Abraham and Sarah held on to God's promise, even though it seemed impossible. Eventually, in their old age, Sarah miraculously conceived and gave birth to Isaac, thus fulfilling God's promise. Friends, these biblical examples remind us that delays are not necessarily an indication of denial of our dreams or desires. Rather, it's an opportunity for us to grow, learn and become better equipped for what lies ahead. It is during these moments of delay that we can refine our skills, 
strengthen our character and deepen our faith. Just as a seed requires time to germinate and grow before it blossoms into a beautiful flower, our dreams and desires also need time to manifest. The delay we experience is not a rejection, but a necessary process of preparation. Are you preparing for your greater tomorrow? I want you to see the delays as opportunities to manifest. You are closer than you think. Amen. God bless you.